The Georgia Bureau of Investigation ruled Anitra Gunn's death a homicide, but hasn't determined how she died. We obtained a copy of the missing persons report Anitra's father filed on Saturday. That report says officers told Anitra's boyfriend, Demarcus Little, that he told them that he and Anitra went to a party Thursday night. They then ate at the Waffle House early Friday morning and then went back to his home together to spend the night. Little told Anitra's dad that Anitra left his house around 10 or 11 Friday morning. The report also says that the last time Mr. Gunn communicated with his daughter was just before 9 o'clock Friday morning. Law enforcement has not named any other people of interest in this case. Meanwhile, members of the Fort Valley community came together tonight to honor the life of Anitra Gunn. Sabrina Burris went to the Fort Valley restaurant where Anitra worked. And Sabrina, how are they remembering her? Well, Lori, more than 100 people gathered at the 1836 restaurant for a balloon release this evening. I spoke to a few of them who say Anitra had an infectious personality. Thursday evening, one Fort Valley restaurant was filled with people who knew Anitra Gunn. She was our sister. She was our teammate. 1836 restaurant owner Kelvin Blaylock says Gunn was a hardworking employee and he wanted to do something to honor her. The ceremony began in prayer. And asked that you would comfort, strengthen, and guide us. Fort Valley State University professor Bobby Dickey says Gunn had two classes with him. I spoke with her on Wednesday and she was just excited this semester. The crowd made their way outside of the restaurant. Three. Co-workers released 23 balloons marking Gunn's age. Other Fort Valley students and friends released balloons of their own. Fort Valley Mayor Barbara Williams says the entire community is hurting. We are all like family, so it's like I, we have lost close kin. A feeling that hit hard for former daycare co-worker Sandra Marshall. I grew to love her and as one of my own children. But they all say her memory will live on. I thought she represented FBSU well. Very, very emotional gathering between family and friends. And like you heard, as they released those balloons, they chanted forever, Anitra, to you. All right, thank you, Sabrina. This afternoon, Anitra's dad launched the Anitra Gun Memorial Fund fundraiser on GoFundMe. If you'd like to make a donation to help the family with funeral and burial expenses, you can find a link on our website at 13WMAZ.com. There you'll also find an address if you'd like to mail cards and condolences to the family.